they actually really, really noise cancel. I can't make sentences, this doesn't make any sense. a.m. Our flight is at 9.30. Normally I am not this kind of person who would get here super early. We're here three and a half hours early because when you go to the US you can't check in online. Every single person's passport has to be checked to see if they've got their entry requirements, whatever. So I was like, I don't want to get here that early, but now that we're here and we're in the line and it's getting longer and longer, I am glad that we got here this early. So maybe that's tip number one get here like a dad like a dad level early like three and a half hours before your flight early all right we are checked in we are in the security line and I will tell you my one other tip that I love to tell people like I invented it and I'm the smartest person alive is that I just you know how you can't take water through security lines right I just bring an empty water bottle and then fill it up on the other side of the security line which is like very obvious right but every time I tell someone about it they're like oh that's such a good idea so anyway I thought I would just impart that wisdom here we made it through we're in the lounge now this is the real perk of being in love with someone who can fly a lot for work and really rack up the points because it means I get to come in here I get to get a free body Mary. that's uh, maybe tip number one is um, find a minor <laughs> um, anyway so we've made it through security it only took like an hour it was like very busy obviously it's like school holidays and traveling to America was always going like a long time but here we are one thing I always do when I'm flying is like I have my carry on sometimes I'll check bags and then like bring a like a handbag or whatever on the plane but the thing is I always bring just like a shitty tote bag that I can put like the necessities in so it's like lip balm earphones a pen and then all the other stuff that I'm like, oh, I'll need it when I get there. I'll put it up the top because I hate when you get comfy in your seat and then you're like, oh my God, my earphones are up there and you've got to like get up and get down. Just put the, only the essentials in like a shitty bag like this and then you can just like shove it in the seat clock in front of you. And then you've got all the leg room. You're not taking up leg room with a big bag. That's a big tip that I swear by. Another thing, like I know that this is... Povo maybe, but I always bring snacks on the plane. I hate plain food. I think that it just makes you feel like shit. If you eat like two meals on a plane and then arrive at your destination, you just feel like so salty, like really full of salt and like bloated and gross. So I always like to like make my own little lunch and snacks. It probably doesn't look great just like pulling out a sandwich and eating it on the plane, but I swear by it. I've got one cheese and Vegemite and one chicken and salad got some lollies and we got an apple although one thing is make sure you eat this before you get to where you're going because one time I got in trouble because I ate an apple like in the customs line when I got to America and they didn't like that so I just ate it on the plane you're kind of in silhouette so you look really important <laughs> so while I sit here and drink my Bloody Mary let me just say every time you read something that's like best tips for flying and like how to do long haul flights it always says don't drink because it like dehydrates you it's not good for you blah 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 however if I want to go to sleep I reckon having like two drinks maybe a Valium and then just go onto the plane and conk out I feel like that is the best way to tackle a long haul flight like sure you can sit there for like 11 hours sober and like read a book but if you want to sleep I find that uh, yeah a couple of drinks staying up all night the night before it's definitely like really helpful to try and get onto the time zone you're going to like beforehand so last time we probably only got like four hours sleep because we were like let's try and be as tired as possible okay i can't believe i forgot to say this but the number one tip that i used to always do when i was flying i've just like forgotten is to bring hydrolyte tablets and then when you're like halfway through the flight get a little bottle of water and put your tablets in it and drink it and you just like it's so good for hydration oh i'm really annoyed i forgot to bring them on this flight but that's that's a good thing to bring bring some hydrolyte tablets so yeah the um experts who are a bit healthier than me might say you don't drink but i say conk yourself out however you can especially if you're flying economy and you don't fit in the seats and you just want to and then wake up when you're in la
We've made it. Oh, it's blurry. All right, we've made it to LA. 13 hour flight done. Now we just have like a four hour flight to Mexico City, which is gonna be fine. And we've got like five hours in the airport between landing and our next flight, which is very good. But here is where my next tip really comes in handy. We've packed carry on only. So now while everybody else has to go collect their bags, we can go straight through security and hopefully miss out on the lines, which will make it so much easier to just like go to our next gate and be ready for our next flight. I know packing carry on isn't like the best because then you get there and you don't have like all the things that you want to have but it is definitely worth it for um, getting through the airport. We've now been hanging around LAX for like five hours, but we're about to board our flight to Mexico. Feeling not great, looking not great, but that's okay. Once we get there and have a shower, it'll all be fine. So I'm just gonna finish off this video here with one final tip, which is noise canceling headphones are as good as everyone says. Like I know that everybody is like, noise canceling headphones are really good for travel, but like, I didn't even really realize until I put them on. I didn't even have any music playing. I just had them on, the noise cancelling function on, no music playing, and it cut out so much noise. Just having those on silence while trying to sleep is so good. I think these only cost me like 150 bucks from JB Hi-Fi. I've had them for like a year. You can plug them in and they're also wireless. They're real good. Also, I will recommend getting, like downloading a Spotify sleep playlist because like, you know those sleep pedals that are just like those noises that are just kind of like wow, wow. Like they really help you sleep and I love those on planes. With my nice counseling headphones, they work perfectly together. But I think that's gonna bring this. Oh, you know what I have written down here on my list but we didn't actually do is if you are choosing your seats on the plane, sitting near the back can sometimes be really good if you're on a plane that doesn't have, like that's not a full capacity, because then usually the emptier rows will be at the back and you can kind of like move once the plane's taken off and sit somewhere that has less people and have two seats to yourself. But we didn't do that because our flight was very full. To recap, my tips. Get to the airport embarrassingly early. I would prefer to line up for 20 minutes and sit around for three hours then line up for an hour and sit around for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Channel your dad on a holiday energy and get there really early. Bring your own snacks, whether it's like make some sandwiches, bring some chips, bring some pretzels, bring some lollies, something. Feels so much better for not having eaten that plain food. Drink a couple wines to help you fall asleep or don't drink anything to not be dehydrated. Bring an empty water bottle and fill it up after security. Bring carry on only if you can, because it'll really help you, especially if you are transiting. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry that it's become like more progressively unhinged with every scene that I do, but I'm really running off no sleep. But we are on our way to Mexico. We're about to have the best time. We're gonna make some fun videos. We're gonna eat a lot of tacos, drink a lot of margaritas. Bye.